Hello, in this lecture we will learn how to use a message box. Uh, you may know it as an alert box, uh, that would be the thing in JavaScript, alert, right? Uh, but in the WPF we call it a uh, message box, okay? And basically in terms of the XAML, okay, we only have uh, one tiny little button. Okay, just one button and it displays some uh, different values. So if I show you the program, uh, I can click on test like that. You see another little box now appeared. It has the title and the message and then it has uh, three buttons. At least this one has uh, that many and uh, I can click say yes. Okay. Like that yes and it displays another one saying yes okay and then I clicked on that one and uh, it says yes clicked I click OK I can do that once more let say cancel and the cancel was cancelled just like that so let's take a look at how it works it is actually quite simple if we go to main window just like that you see we have a uh, MB test BT that is the event for that button that is where the whole action happens and uh, what a message box is, it comes from this uh, message box uh, class and you run a method show. You run a method show. Now that does take some parameters. Uh, mainly it takes uh, the message, okay. It takes the message, uh, this one, and then it takes uh, the title, the caption, and then it takes the button arrangement okay so this one can be a bit tricky it can be a bit tricky because there are several of them in this case we have yes no cancel so you see uh, these three buttons and you actually saw them you saw them in action now if i do say something else like say okay cancel that would only show okay and cancel buttons okay would only show okay you've seen those as well Yes, no would only show yes and no buttons. That's it. Okay, let's get back to this one. Now, what it returns, it returns message box result. Okay, so it's basically an enumerable, right? It's just an enumerable and uh, you can see, I actually turn it uh, to a string uh, you saw when I clicked on the yes, when I clicked on the cancel, you were able to see a new message box pop up like that you see I do message box show and it simply printed that uh, previous result now we have a message box result you see that's yes so you simply select whichever one you need and you compare it to whichever one you retrieved see we have yes no okay cancel just four options uh, and we also have none uh, we have none uh, this is the default okay uh, that would be the default. Other than that, we have yes, no, cancel, and OK. So this is basically how the message box uh, works. And with that, we will conclude this lecture. Mm -hmm.